Hey YouTube, Rico Knows here. Transfer portal update. The number one remaining offensive player, remaining wide receiver in the transfer portal just committed to the Florida Gators. Now this is a pretty big deal because the last time an Arizona State wide receiver committed to the Florida Gators, it was Ricky Pearsall. Okay, that's a pretty big deal. Now Elijah Badger is 6'2", 190. He's not a little guy. He can actually play anywhere. He's a very good wide receiver, very productive. Seven touchdowns two seasons ago. Only three touchdowns last year because the quarterback play was terrible. And you got Cameron Scadaboo to put it in the, in the red zone and to punch it in when possible or when needed. But this is a young man that always gets open, gets a lot of production, excuse me. And when you look at Arizona State, you know, Johnny Wilson was in this same recruiting class back in 2021. So shout out to Arizona State for going out there and passing out all the good wide receivers to all the teams that need them. The, the talent they were recruiting at Arizona State back in 2019 and 2021 is absolutely remarkable. It's absolutely remarkable. Nonetheless, looking at the Florida Gators, if you watch their spring game, and I just rewatched the spring game before I got uh, busy making this video, I wanted to make sure I rewatched it, and I know – Spring games don't mean everything. Spring games aren't everything. I remember last year, the spring game went down and everybody started telling me, Andy Jean is him. That's the next starting wide receiver. We don't need anybody else. We got Andy Jean. He's better than Shorter. He's better than so-and-so. And I'm like, man, I, I, don't, I don't buy that. I don't think freshmen just show up and start over these other established players. I just don't. And what do you know? You got this guy, Trey Wilson. He goes by Eugene. Eugene's his real name. But Trey Wilson the third played out of his mind. The team's second leader receiver behind a first-round draft pick in Ricky Pearsall. Uh, DK coming in from Wisconsin. He's okay. He's not great. He's, he's not bad. He's not great. And then Jackson, I think, isn't quite there. Now, in the spring game, you saw Mizell have a tremendous game. A lot of people are excited about it, so they go and put him ahead of some of these other guys. But when I'm looking at guys who are going to get it done on Saturday, I love Wilson, obviously. He's going to make it happen. But this is where you get Badger on the field. Elijah Badger can do it on Saturdays. I, I realize a lot of guys are happy and excited about a guy like Jaden Baugh. You, if you saw him in the spring game, he was great. They're doing a lot of this hype around a lot of these, these freshmen and these young kids. I like it too. But... I think the coaching staff is on borrowed time, bro. They know they got to be good this year or they're getting fired. So they went out, did all they could to get the best players possible, and they go and add another dynamite player to their team as best they can. And they said, we got to do this. We got to go for broke or we're, gonna, we're not going to be here anymore. And all these great freshmen we recruited will be gone because they're going to leave if the coaching staff gets fired. Somebody's going to come in and bring in their own Louis luggage. Hint, hint. But it is what it is. Shout out to them. Congratulations. You got Elijah Badger. That's a guy who can get it done on Saturdays. Florida Gators, today, you got a little better. That's a fact. You got better. Does it impact your win-loss column? I don't know. But I woke up yesterday. You were this good. And you just got Elijah Badger. You're now this good. Your friends don't know. But Rico knows. Peace, y'all.